Keep Right with Ralph K. Genorio. Cultural misappropriation. Culture matters. It's inescapable. A culture is any group of people bound together by a certain core belief. These beliefs are fundamental. To dispute them is to invite ostracism. Examples of these include forbiddances against incest, child molestation, or cannibalism. On onto such fundamental truths are hung manners, habits, folkways, fashion, music, architecture, art, philosophy, religion, and technology. These things are what most people think of when they think about culture, but they are all secondary characteristics to those bedrock convictions that make many into one. Consider the Lakota Sioux, the Zulus, the Bedouin, the Inuit or Eskimos, the Irish, the French, the Romanians, the Greeks, the Turks, the Kazakhs, the Punjabi Sikhs, the Hmong, the Australian Aborigines, the Maori, the Mongols, the Japanese, and the Mapuche. All of these cultures embody consistently different visions of the best way to live life. Culture is not merely a diverting travelogue of exciting places and peoples. Cultural values determine what is good or evil, right or wrong, mandatory or taboo. These convictions are about nothing less than what we deem to be worth living for, dying for, and even killing for. I grew up among the, God, I have come to detest this word, diversity of worldviews found in New York City neighborhood enclaves of Italians, Jews, Irish, Poles, Blacks, Puerto Ricans, and Yankees. All were proud Americans, but each ethnic subculture maintained its own vivid set of values. Religion is typically central to such cultural convictions. My Christian faith indicates the urgency of truth and the demands of conscience. Any believer may at any moment be faced with the need to risk their one and only earthly life in order to be true to the divine. Today, a wide coalition of leftists agree that our Judeo-Christian West must be destroyed. Their attacks take many forms. They are not intellectually consistent. If an idea is caustic to the West, no matter its characteristics or its implications, it will be extolled because it serves their purpose. They imply that the West is unique in its sins of slavery, racism, and imperialism, ignoring the reality that all human civilizations everywhere on the earth practiced such things before industrial modernity. Some still do. The West is white supremacy, they argue, whose goal is the establishment of a series of apartheid ethnostates. This ignores the reality that only in the West we have developed concepts of universal and inalienable human rights. What makes us in the West unique is our insistence that we purge ourselves of racism and the rest in order to hopefully embrace a colorblind meritocracy. They simultaneously argue that Western nations must accept endless waves of illegal and unacculturated immigrants, which inevitably transform communities out of all recognition. Ireland is on fire right now because of the vicious crimes of such invaders and the damage being done to Irish society. Yet anyone who asserts that the Irish should rule in Ireland is castigated as being a bigoted thought criminal by the elites in Ireland and around Europe and around the world. These elites damn America's melting pot, conflating cultural assimilation with being an Uncle Tom. Advocating multiculturalism, they forget that the United States can only exist if we all slough off the ways of the old country and join into the English language Judeo-Christian mainstream. Western traditions are demonized by these elites as being patriarchal, heteronormative, white power cult that is lethal to all other ways of life. They forget that a tolerance for counterculture and ideas at variance with the majority and those in power is an exclusively Western virtue. These elites undermine their own multicultural argument when they say that the natural blending of cultures that happens when differing peoples live peaceably together is somehow cultural appropriation. 
They make truly racist arguments that only people of a certain background, a certain ethnicity, are allowed to partake of that culture. These leftists forget that all of their own ideas stem from the Western notions of individual worth and human rights. They for further encourage a victimhood mentality, which infantilizes anyone foolish enough to adopt their beliefs. I love our culture far too much to allow leftists to destroy it. I love the West and delight in the free exchange of cultural ideas. I love the possibility of embracing a colorblind meritocracy and defeating tribalism. Shouldn't you?